Our gospel is from the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus tells us that we are to be light and salt as we carry out our mission to transform the world. As people of faith, let us sing number 199, Praise to the Lord, number 199. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is your help and salvation. Come on, hear, now to mentioning to our deacon that now I've been in all four of the Iowa City parishes at one time or another helping out. Uh, I'm Father Lou. I remember once when Monsignor Matson, after he had left St. Wenceslaus and retired, he came back to celebrate their mass and they had a person up there say, we have uh, Monsignor Matson with us, one of our retarded priests. Uh, well, I am retired. I hope I'm not retarded yet. In fact, I'm glad to be with you and not retarded. And we are all here to celebrate the love of God. So we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. May the grace of God be with all of you. My dear brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to the people of good men. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We
better understanding of God's great love for us. Lord, keep your family safe with your unfailing care, relying on the hope of a heavenly grace. We may be defended always by your protection. We ask it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst of oppression, false accusations, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. The His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His justice shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I come to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear in much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not without persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith must, might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you recently or in the past can remember having a sort of bland meal. Not a lot of seasoning in the dish, and maybe that main dish doesn't really go with the sides, and they're not really working together. And after a couple of mouthfuls, you're wondering if you can even finish that plate full of food in front of you. You are the salt of the earth. You are the seasoning that makes life exciting. Without you, this world is like that bland meal. <coughs> salt does little on its own. But when salt acts upon something else, it transforms. The significance of salt is not just an ancient world thing. Yes, salt preserves meat, we all know that, and it was essential in the ancient world before refrigeration. But salt, salt is still used for that purpose today. And it is an essential seasoning in so many recipes. Salt is also an essential component of our body. It absorbs and transports nutrients. It maintains our blood pressure, maintains the right balance of fluids in our body. It transmits nerves through our nervous system. It contracts and relaxes our muscles. I imagine we use salt every day. Salts are used to purify and to heal. We have sprays and rinses that we use a saline solution, a salt and water mixture to clean our eyes or our noses. 
And every night I put my contact lenses in saline solution. And yes, during this winter season, we in the upper Midwest know how important salt is. Road salt and sometimes a brine mixture, they melt the ice and snow from our roads and driveways and sidewalks and porches, allowing us to get safely to work and school and everywhere in between. When salt acts upon something else, it transforms. Both teams circle the basketball court ready for the last play of the game. The team inbounding the ball is down a couple of points. And the de defending team was the overwhelming favorite, not losing a single game all season. And despite all odds, there is a chance for the underdog to win. The ball is thrown in, three-pointer, long three-pointer up in the air and swoosh right through the net. The underdog has won. We all love a great underdog story. I think it's part of that fascination with March Madness, so soon to come up next month. The reading from Isaiah today has an interesting list of underdogs. The hungry, the oppressed, the homeless, the naked. Sure, most of us think of and have heard those corporal works of mercy when we hear that reading. We know the list, but what do we do about it? God calls us to shelter the traveler and the homeless. Indeed, we should support efforts that do this. But also, should we invite an elderly relative into our house, into our family, and care for them? But God calls us to give drink to the thirsty. Indeed, another great work of mercy. But what about the billions of people who do not have regular access to clean water around the world? Jesus could have accomplished his mission and his ministry in so many ways. I wonder why does he rely on us? But today's readings tell us about the power of transformation. And like salt, the Holy Spirit empowers each and every one of us with the power to transform. And by your involvement, the world can forever be transformed. One of my commentaries says this, Our Lord tells his disciples that they are the salt of the earth. That is, they give divine flavor to human things and help preserve the world from corruption by keeping the covenant alive. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. By your actions, this darkened world is made bright. By the example of your life, others will find their way. Light is essential to life. Sunlight provides life on this rock that we call Earth. But light also dispels darkness. A single light on a dark night can illumine a room, a house, a whole field. And I think of that full moon, which we're just about ready to see tomorrow, reflecting the sun's light and enlighten the night sky. Or how when I switch from those low beams to those high beams on my way home, on the rural roads, all of a sudden I can see those deer out on the edge of the field. Light also guides. Long ago, sailors used light, used the light of the stars to navigate. Light is warmth. I have never experienced the warmth like being close to the wood burning stove that we had in the house that I grew up in and how it heat all the ceramic tiles around it. Light enlivens. Think of that romantic candle lit dinner, which many will share this week, or an amazing Christmas light display. In the warmth of the family van, we drove around the little town that we lived in, some houses with tons of decorations, others very simple. Houses decorated in only white and blue lights. Others with 
different colored lights, some twinkling. But it was more, it was about more than those decorations. It was enjoying time together, being part of the family. Today, Jesus is calling us to be part of his mission and ministry, his family, his apostles. Jesus is calling us to be the light that dispels the darkness of doubt, ignorance, and faithlessness, to be a guide and a witness. He wants us to show others the way to follow him, the master, the Lord of all, to be warm and inviting, encouraging in a world filled with division, to brighten the people around us with what makes each of us individually so beautiful. Jesus is calling you to enliven the world with joy. You are the light of the world. And without salt and light, this life is certainly like that bland meal in a dark room. But Jesus is calling us today. I encourage you, go. Be salt and light for the world. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, Lord, and Lord, and Father, for all ages. God from God, light from light, through God from God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Mindful now of God's goodness and love, we offer in faith our petitions before the Lord. For God's people, that the light of Christ will be revealed in our words and in our way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lasting peace in our nation and in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer because of physical abuse and domestic violence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater awareness of our call to serve the needs of others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jim Azello, for all the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And the announcing tinge for our Mass, Jim Ozello. We pray for all of our friends and relatives living and deceased. And merciful God, help us always to walk in the light of your Son. May good works shine forth in our lives each and every day. For we ask it through Christ our Lord. As we prepare for our Eucharistic sacrifice, let us sing number 728. Beatitudes. Beatitudes. 
number 728. Blessed are you, the poor who trust the Father with your lives. For within your heart is born the kingdom of the Lord. Blessed are you, the sorrowing, who know your Father wise. For within your heart is born the kingdom of The peace that sets you free, let your light shine to fill your nights and days. All will see the deed you do and give your Father praise. Blessed are you, the Lord. to share, for within your heart is born the kingdom of the Lord. Blessed are you, the sorrowing, will know you to God's care, for within your heart is born the kingdom of the Lord. The brightness of your life within, the peace that sets you free. Let your light shine to fill your nights and days. All will see the deeds you do and give your Father praise. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Amen. Father, we are happy that we gather here to celebrate this Eucharist, and we understand the fullness of your love and that bread and the wine become the body and blood of Christ and challenge us to live as Jesus has told us, to be a family of love. For we ask it in Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right that we give you thanks, fitting that we sing your glory, Father of infinite mercy. Through the gospel proclaimed by your Son, you brought together into a single church, people of every nation and culture and tongue, and into it you breathe the power of your spirit that in every age your children may be gathered as one. Your church bears witness to the steadfast knitness of your love. Your church banishes anything that would bring to nothing our hope for the coming of your kingdom. The church is a sure sign of your lasting covenant of love you promised us in the Lord Jesus. 
Therefore, heaven and earth sing forth your praise while we with all on earth proclaim your glory without end. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. You are truly blessed, O God of holiness, as you accompany us with your love on the journey of life, the journey of faith. And blessed to your Son, Jesus, present within us and among us, and whose love has brought us together here. As once he did for his disciples, Jesus has opened the scriptures for us, and now he breaks the bread, shares the cup. Great and merciful Father, we ask you to send down your Holy Spirit, make holy our gifts, bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus. For on the eve of his passion and death, while at supper with those he loved, Jesus took the bread from the table and gave you thanks and offered you praise. He broke the bread, gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. As the meal was ending, he took the cup that was filled with wine, again gave you thanks, offered you praise, gave the cup to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, who will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim this mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. So, most holy Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ Jesus, your Son, whom you led through suffering, death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection and a place at your right hand. Until Jesus, our Savior, comes again, we proclaim the work of your love, and so we offer you the bread of life, the cup of eternal blessing. Look with favor, then, on the offering of your people in which we show forth the paschal mystery entrusted to us, that Jesus truly died and was raised from the dead. And through the power of your spirit of love, include us now and forever among the members of your Son, whose body and blood we share. And renew in the light of the gospel the church of the Davenport Diocese. Strengthen the bonds of unity between the faithful and their pastor. That together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop Zinkula, and Bishop Amos, and Bishop Franklin, and all bishops and priests and deacons, and religious, that we might all together be a people that stand forth in a world torn by strife and discord as a sign of unity and of peace. And be mindful, too, of our brothers, our sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and indeed all those whose faith only you can know. Lead them to the fullness of the resurrection, gladden them with the light of your countenance. And when our pilgrimage on earth is complete. Welcome us into our heavenly home, where we shall dwell with you forever. For there with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, and our Mother, Saint Joseph, her husband, the apostles, martyrs, and all the saints will praise you and sing your glory through Christ our Lord. 
Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. check to find out if you know the song our father i hope you do we stand with the lord as family and pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And Lord, deliver us from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joy-filled hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your friends at the resurrection, it is my peace that I give you. Look not on our sins, but our gathering here as your people. Grant to us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. And may the peace of Christ be with all of you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Great idea of peace. Thank you. My friends, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, the blood of Christ. This is my blood given up for you. 
guide to be reborn. I am the bread that comes from heaven above. I am the vine that fills your cup with joy. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body.
O oh God, you have willed that we partake in the one bread. Grant us, we pray, that we may also be made one in Christ, one in Christ, joyfully bearing fruit for the salvation of our world, for we ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. And be seated for a moment. You don't get away without an announcement or two. two. Next Sunday, Family Life Commission hosting the Iowa women's basketball team Chili Supper next Sunday, Parish Hall, begins at 4.30 p.m. and all are welcome to attend. That means you. Please join for the first in a series of quarterly faith journeys speakers. It'll be Sunday, February 23rd, 5 o'clock. Professor and par parishioner David Drake will share a talk with us. The title is, My Life with My Father, A Tale of Forgiveness. Sounds like the prodigal son, but I don't know. I didn't write the talk. And dinner will be served in the parish hall following that talk. And script certificates are available after Mass today. Let us stand and close in prayer. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless us this and every day, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. As we go forth, let us sing number 596. Thank, thanks be to God, number 596. to God who Behave like that, huh? Okay, all right. Nice to see all these people out. All right, now you can go party or have to do this. Great. Enjoy your evening. Yes. Nice to be young, isn't it? Yes, very good. So long now. Bye bye. Bye now. So long. <laughs> bye now. So long. Really? Oh, you've come a long way, young lady. Well, now, were you there when Father Steve was a deacon? Very good, because he was ordained while I was there. Yeah, and he worked with uh, uh, the other at Lennon. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had a lot of fun there. Very good. Hey, thanks for introducing yourself. I'll be here next week, too. I will be here next week, God willing. Thank you much. I only have one a year, so next year. Bye now. <laughs> 39. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> so long now. Enjoy.